This is a brief look into the life and work of Tony Doyle, who for 12 years was the director of Arts in Action. Right. What have we got? Hello. This is the bus club X1, adjacent to Edmund Wright House, King William Street. We record the whole lot, but it may be for the purposes of uh, the final product, we break it up into bits or separate it. That's if he ever stops. In the 90s, Tony kick-started the High Beam International Arts and Disability Festival. And over the last six years, he's helped it grow into the biggest festival for disabled people in the Southern Hemisphere. This year, Tony's taken on a new challenge. He will work to develop and present a high-tech sound installation project that will produce a digitally enhanced interactive environment involving people with multiple and intellectual disabilities. The Somersault programme is a major part of his Commonwealth Fellowship work. Somersault's a programme that's designed to transform environments and to start community development through the arts around people that are left out. Tony's chosen one of the most disadvantaged areas of Australia to work in. He is finalising suitable venues for his installation and workshops in partnership with the Port Adelaide Enfield Council. What exactly would you need? A building that has enough room to run workshops, that has reasonable access for people in wheelchairs, preferably around the more the Enfield E up towards the Strathmonty areas even. Right. Okay. You know, if there was anything up there, mm. it would be good. Okay. <laughs> it's very cream. It's a pretty big centre, isn't it? It's huge, yeah. This is a, a, a queen on the wall in here. The queen! Yeah, it's the only bit of art. Perhaps we could, uh, <laughs> can, can we dolly that sort <laughs> of? <laughs> it's in a nice uh, primrose. I guess you could have uh, triggering devices uh, around areas that are going to be used by people in wheelchairs that mm. might trigger soundscapes, sound. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks very much. All right, I'll see you then. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Twenty-two percent of South Australians have a disability, the highest percentage in Australia. Somersault is about working in local neighbourhoods to develop a sense of community that includes people with disabilities. Somersault's a statement about the values of, the, of today's society and um, uh, the statement is um, we need an alternative, uh, we need something that's more caring, more inclusive and it's about people with disabilities not waiting to be included into the cultural mainstream that um, uh, let's do something ourselves, let's get something kicking, something moving. In 2002, Tony received a Community Cultural Development Fellowship from the Australia Council to enhance his plans for community projects. Uh, they normally give out two, maybe three a year, but the year I got it, they give, gave out a record five. I think that's the most they've ever given out uh, because the standard was high. It's pretty competitive. Um, I, had to, I did three months full-time work. The fellowship simply, for me, it gives me a period of time to explore, to create um, and to establish. There are no guarantees that anything is going to get up or continue. Common sense or need or social inclusion um, isn't going to necessarily swing it. Um, it's a, there are so many factors there. All you can do is progress positively, confidently, as confidently as you can. And believe that if you're doing valuable work, that it'll get recognised somewhere and it will, uh, that we'll find the funding to continue it on. With only 1% vision and working long hours on his fellowship work, Tony encounters many obstacles and frustrations. By the end of the week, he's ready to let his hair down and join in the party with his friends in the Adelaide music scene. The second of the uh, fellows is Mr Gerard Doyle. 
He is a common fellow of the uh, community culture. When Tony returns from an international uh, research trip for his Churchill Fellowship, he has less than a year to transform his vision into reality. Is.